It wasn't until recently that I began remembering my childhood. For a very long time, I buried those memories. It was a painful time for me and my brother and sister, and the experience would alter our lives in the most profound ways. Now, I remember what it was like. My sister Molly was very quiet. I remember always trying to get her to smile, but it didn't happen very often. Ryan didn't pay much attention to the rest of us. He used to watch TV a lot. Me, my name is Emma, and this is our story. Hey, Em, is there anything to eat? I'm starved. Here, eat this. Molly, do you want anything? Is there even any milk? Mom gets paid today. She'll probably get some. Did you put your sled away? Quit bossing me around. Hey everybody, is everybody home? Did Molly get a ride home? Hey baby. Hi mommy. Damn grocery store was packed. We Didn't loved our mother. She was so important. Checkers, I can't believe how long but like all of us, everything Damn she did, every thought she had, centered around my father's drinking Why and drug use. Looking back, I realize she just didn't have much left for us. Anybody call? No, Mommy. Did your dad call? Uh-uh. That man doesn't come home again. I'm not gonna take this crap anymore. Ryan! What did I tell you about leaving your damn sled in the driveway? Nobody listens to me around here. I don't know if I get it at work. I gotta come home and get it, too. I swear that supervisor's out to get me. Ugh. Standing there, staring at me. Smiling when I make a mistake. I don't make many mistakes, but I tell you, he's two years younger than me. He makes more money than me. He needs me more than I'm gonna need him, I'll tell you that. I'm hungry. If we got any food, I miss lunch. Good, Good, Em. Where's Molly? Ryan, you watch too much TV. Ryan, what the hell is this? Did you see these grades? This is ridiculous. Why did you turn stupid on us? Hey, Sean, you wanna watch that movie with me tonight? What, the girly movie? No. $300 for what? From Klein's? For what? I told you about it two months ago. It's the winter stuff for the kids. I never said you could spend that much money. Hey, stupid. Tell your mom about money. How am I supposed to pay for All this? All right! You're gonna pull that memory loss crap on me again. I'll pay for it myself. And stop yelling. This is my house. I will yell whenever I want. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you'll pay for this. At least see you do that. Your worthless little salary. Here, you wanna pay this? Here, pay for it. Pay the bills. Go ahead. I'm out of here. Oh, that's right. Take off again. Don't drink it with your buddies and your girlfriends. I know what's going on, Sean. I can't take this anymore. Em, did you find the tomato sauce?
All right, you guys, get going. Emma, can you help me with a wash today? Uh huh. Hon, do you mind if we borrow some quarters from your jar? I'll pay you back. Sure. Molly. Come on, baby. Let's go. You better get ready, Ryan. I'm not going to be late again because of you. You should try out, Emma. You'd be perfect for the basketball team. I just can't. I got too many things going on. Well, don't forget to sign your family up for the pancake breakfast. I told them we want to work together, OK? Hey, do you want to come to my house today after school? Today's not a good day. Em, don't you ever have any fun? Of course I have fun. It's just that me and my family do stuff together. We have lots of fun. Well, maybe I could come to your house someday. I didn't steal no bike. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. Emma, look. It's Ryan. Stop it, Reiner. I can just like him. I don't care. What's going on here? Break it up. Hey, I said break it up. Pick up these books and head to my office. Harris, Stewart, Swanson, let's go. Morgan, let's go. You people have some place to go? Let's go there. The rest of you folks have something to do, I presume? Let's get there. Thank you. Michelle would love to see it. Can I bring her here to see it? Michelle, do you want to see mom's picture? It's really pretty. I'm a new droid. I can't tell you it's a secret. Mrs. Morgan. Ryan's had several behavior problems. The fight today is just the latest. I mean, we've got several incidents of disruptive behavior in the classroom, destruction of another student's property, excessive tardiness. Uh, we've made copies of these reports and sent them to the home, so you've got to know what's going on, right? Yeah, well, Ryan's having trouble adjusting to the new school. He's, he has to make new friends and... I understand, but his behavior is creating a negative learning environment for the other students. Mrs. Morgan. Ryan's bright, he's capable, and he's creative. The question is, how can we help him live up to his potential? Ryan's gonna be fine. He's just going through a tough time right now. Kids today are dealing with so many pressures at such a young age. Life can be a challenge for kids and their families, and, and sometimes the stress spills over into school. Attention deficit disorder, family violence, drug and alcohol abuse, Poverty, isolation. Ryan's persistent behavior problems may be a sign that there are some other things that need to be addressed. The school has resources. I'd like you to agree to an evaluation so that we can find out what's going on. Hold on, Mr. Byers. Ryan's had a few problems, but his family isn't one of them. His family is intact, and his dad and I work hard to support our kids. We'll work on the discipline thing. I'm sorry, but I gotta get back to work. Come on, Ryan. Again, I'm sorry about the uh, fight. It won't happen again. Ms. Morgan, at least think about an evaluation. 
I mean, you care about your child. At least give him a chance to get the help that he needs. Yeah. All right. Mickey, I'm sorry. No, no, Mickey, listen to me. I can make good. We can do it Saturday. No, I will not let you down again, I promise. In my hand. All right. Yeah, everything is cool, man. All right. Great, okay, same. Okay. You... is something you're too young to know about, but might just put us back on track. You got homework? Yeah. Bye-bye. We were always kept off balance, but we always held the hope that when he was funny and caring, he would stay that way. Oh, damn it! I knew I couldn't take you anywhere nice. This is the last time, you understand? Oh. You ruined it for everybody. Come on, let's go. Never again. Let's go. Come on! He had complete control of our lives. At that time, we all sincerely believed he was mad at us because we were bad. Yeah? I need you some soup. Thanks, honey. Not right now. I think I'll have a boop. A little bit later. I'm sure Daddy's all right. He always comes back. Sooner or later. Yeah. Usually later. When he's had enough running around. Men are such pigs. <laughs> You'll see. They're always looking for something more than they got at home. And what should I do? Maybe we could move to another city. How about where Grandma Morgan lives? I was so stupid to think your dad could be different. He's exactly like my dad. <laughs> Except mine didn't even bother to stick around. I am not gonna let him break this family up. That's not gonna happen, Mommy. Don't worry.
Okay, just don't, don't say anything. Hey, listen, tell Mickey I really appreciate his waiting on this, all right? Hey, uh, that's all right, Sean. <laughs> hey, I see you brought your help with you, huh? <laughs> Hi, right, kids, how you doing? Mickey got another good deal for you. He wants to talk to you. Okay, sure. Uh, you guys wait here. I'll be right back. Sure. What do you mean a few weeks? Sean, you can't leave us for that long. I can't take care of everything around here. You need to say where you're going. What difference does it make? I'm going. No, honey, don't go. We can work it out. Let's get, let's get help. We'll call the police. See, that proves you have absolutely no idea what's going on with me right now. Pay attention. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get Sean, out of here. Sean, how am I supposed to get money? We are months behind in the rent. I, I will send you something evicted. when I can. That is not good enough. It's going to have to be no. good enough. Honey, you can't go. Please. Ah. Oh. Mommy, are you okay? <laughs> Check it out, you wanna get high? What's that, Ryan? Ryan, Ryan it's marijuana, what else is it? Ryan, come here. Let me see what you've got. Come on, let's go talk. Okay, Ryan, what's really going on here? Let's talk about it. Can you tell me where you got it? Ryan, this is serious. Drugs hurt people. You know that, right? Okay, Ryan. This is what's gonna happen. You and I need to go talk to Mr. Byers about this. We'll call the police, and your parents have to come in. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I want to help you. Ms. Morgan, Ryan, you understand that drug possession is a serious violation. In addition to legal sanctions, there's a mandatory out-of-school suspension. For how long? I can't afford to get a babysitter, and I can't take off work anymore. That's partly up to you and Ryan. You do have a choice. There's a three-day suspension, or if Ryan agrees to attend a peer support group, the suspension can be reduced to one day. Mrs. Morgan, whoever left that bag where Ryan could find it is a serious contributor to this problem. 
Do you know where Ryan got the marijuana? Probably some of the older guys in the neighborhood had something to do with it. Ryan made the wrong choice by not bringing the bag to an adult and by bringing it here. He exposed himself and other children to a dangerous substance. That's a warning we can't ignore. We need your cooperation. I urge you to get Ryan into our support group. Are you sure we can't help you, Mrs. Morgan? Like I said before, Ryan is just having trouble adjusting to a new school. We could use some help. That's going to be nice or mean. Maybe I make him feel that way. Christina, it's not your fault. And it's okay that you're talking about it. Group is a safe place for you to share your feelings. Now, does anyone else feel like Christina? I couldn't stand being away from you guys. Jen, I know what you're thinking. And I agree, I'm a jerk. But I'm gonna make it up to you, I promise. Hey, well, look at this. I made some terrific deals. Everything's gonna be great. Do you have any idea what I've been going through? We haven't heard word one from you for four weeks. As far as we knew, you could have been dead. I know, I know, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise, I promise. Hey, Em, here's my big girl. Hey, I brought you something on the couch. Listen, I want you to know that I love you guys, and I'm never gonna leave you again. Jen, I'm straight. I've had only four beers in the last week. We got a lot of time to make up for. <sighs> I'm a little tired. I've been driving all morning. I think I'm gonna take a nap. So, uh, afterwards, why don't we all go out for a big dinner, huh? One big family? All right, deal. As winter was finally coming to an end, 
our family was beginning to become something that I imagined was closer to normal. It was a promising and wonderful time. But then it happened. That afternoon was a critical point in our lives. They say that a person or a family has to hit some kind of bottom. For us, that was our bottom. And the beginning of change. Bitter are the tears of a child, sweeten them. Deep are the thoughts of a child, let them be shared. Heavy is the grief of a child, lighten it. Soft is the heart of a child, embrace it. The story you have just seen is not uncommon. Family problems related to alcohol and other drugs strike one in every four homes in the United States. The effects on the children are profound, but there is hope for these children and their parents. Caring adults should never underestimate the impact that they can have on a child's life. They can make a difference. Kids who are being hurt by alcohol and other drugs need to know that it is not their fault, that they are not alone, and that there are people in places who can help. If you or someone in your family is being hurt by alcohol or other drugs, the first step is to get help for yourself. Groups like Alateen, Al-Anon, and Naranon can provide meaningful and important support from others in similar situations. Check your phone book for local resources. Or call one of the following national resources. They can answer questions or assist you in finding help in your community.